Am I going to play the Catalan in the speedrun? I don't know, you guys. Maybe I will. You never know. I mean, I, of course, I've done a lot of, I've put a lot of thought into the speedrun. I'm trying to think about what openings I can play to confuse my opponents, obviously. So we'll see. If I play any of these openings in the uh, candidates, I will gift, um, I will give 500 subs to the community. The candidates prep speed run. So what that means, you guys, is that we're going to start a new speed run, and I'm going to play openings that I will not be playing in the candidates. If um, I do play openings that I play, if I play openings throughout the speed run that do occur in the candidates, my intention is to gift a minimum of 500 subs to the community. All right. So without further ado, um, let's get going. So he plays knight c6. So again, I'm going to try to play a gambit here. So I'm going to go knight f3. Here he's going to take, and I'll play c3. Followed by Bishop C4. Thank you to Patariki for the tier one. Thank you so much to Mudora for 22 months. Thank you to Lung Maze for the Prime. Gig Durant. Thank you to Chris Players Chess. Thank you to Troy Pex. Thank you to Radar CS. Thank you so much to Chess Tours. Chris and 34, Krunu and Taka for the Primes. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's go. Indeed, we are. I have faith in our 512. So I'm going to play openings that I am not playing in the candidates. Of course, we are trying to save our preparation for that event. It is somewhat important. Uh, now, my opponent plays F6 here. Uh, basically, it's very tongue in cheek, you guys. So, what I'm saying. Basically, the purpose of this is I'm going to play all the openings that I will not play in the candidates. If, I, if you guys do catch me and come to the candidates in July and I play one of these openings, as I said, I will be gifting 500 subs to the community. So let's castle here. Thank you to Tufel Hunden as well. Thank you so much, Tufel Hunden. You, you, you better not be playing the Bond Cloud. Indeed. No intention of playing the Bond Cloud. I said 500 subs. Yes, 500. Okay, he goes knight a5. Now I'm going to take the knight. I can play queen d5. Hit the knight. Hit the rook here. Create the, the double attack. And there should be winning pretty quickly. The Botez Gambit is speed run. I did say 500 subs. Garbage, well, I do intend to play openings that are somewhat decent as well, just not openings that I will be playing in the candidates. The candidate is the username. I better not play the Botez Gambit. No, that's not one of them. Candidate's turn starts on June 16th, you guys. Uh, now, I have booked my tickets. I booked them yesterday. And um, and so, yeah, our, everything's pretty much set. Thank you to Jerkshan for the Prime. Appreciate it. So I'll be getting to Spain probably about a week and a half to two weeks ahead of time. And going from there, thank you to Blinding Darkness for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Blinding darkness. Are visitors allowed? That I don't know. I'm not sure. Am I going to be playing in Title Tuesday? Of course, I'm going to play in Title Tuesday, Tuesday, you guys. Absolutely. Have you ever done them before? So let's take, have I ever what? Uh, have I ever done Matrix Test uh, Reasoning? Reasoning Matrix Test? No, I've never done that. Am I going to say things? What am I going to say? During the Canada's tournament? I know what the question is. He 200 IQ he cards just acting like he won't play his openings in the candidates. Exactly. How uh, opening is the first move I'm guessing. Uh, usually the opening is about the first five to 10 moves. So there are different opening setups for both sides. All right, so let's go with Bay three. Have I been to Madrid before? I've been to Madrid. Um, but uh but I haven't played a tournament there before. Most of the tournaments I played have been more like in uh Catalonia. Am I gonna play the Catalan in a speedrun? I don't know, you guys. Maybe I will. You never know. I mean, I, of course I've done a lot of I've put a lot of thought into the speedrun. I'm trying to think about what openings I can play to confuse my opponents, obviously. So we'll see. So again, if I play any of these openings in the uh candidates, I will gift um I will give 500 subs to the community. All right, so he plays e4. So what is an opening that I can play? So I'm going to play c6 on move one. Now, Karakhan is a very good opening, but surely my opponent will play d4. I was hoping for d4 because my intention is to play knight a6. Now, this is a very old line, the Karakhan, that I remember looking at with my um, with my brother actually many, many years ago. Okay, so let's play knight to c7 here. Maybe I'll go d5 next move. This is also something that Yasser Sarawan, um, Yasser Sarawan used to used to like as well. This whole ninety six, ninety seven idea in the Karakhan. Okay, let's play e five here. No Karakhan. Well, like I said, I played c six on move one, but I played ninety six on move two. We're gonna base off the first couple of moves, not solely the first move. Um, just to be clear. So yeah. 
C6, Knight, A6. So I'll tell you guys, E4, C6, D4, Knight, A6. It's not good for Black. But Yasser Sarawan did, uh, there was, I think he did an article in one of the very old chess books. It was called Informant on E4, C6, D4, Knight, A6. So it, it is something that has been taken seriously at times. Is Knight, A6 supposed to be so bad after D4? I don't know. I don't know how bad it truly is. Uh, but I remember it was in a, it was in Informator, which is like in the old days, we used to actually use books to study chess. And it was, it was an actual variation. So we're going to be doing this speedrun probably for the first like two hours. Then of course we will have, um, Tilted Tuesday coming up. So that's going to be a lot of fun as always. Good D4, fork the Bishop in the Knight here. Yeah. Books. What are books? Yeah. What are these books? What's a book? Indeed. Indeed, you guys. Indeed. This was played in the game Nakamura versus Wang Yu. Maybe it was. I don't know. Let's take and go Knight C6 here. Thinking of math is here for the two months. I have a bookie. Does that count? Slightly different topic. Slightly different. And once again, you guys, obviously, as I've as I've alluded to before, we do have our 8,000 sub goal. Um, we are currently. What are we at? We're at. Um, oh wait, one second. Why is um. One second, I need to move everything right above it. Give me one second. Oh, there we go. All right, so we are currently at what, like 65, 65, 98, it looks like, if my, if my math is correct. Or no, 65, 59, I can't read. It's too small up in the corner. Uh, so once again, if we do get to 8,000 subs, I will be buying those pineapple dress shoes, you guys, to wear at the FIDE Candidates Tournament. So, um, so once again, if we get there, I'm going to wear them, and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And now he goes D4. Now here there are many ways to play, but I'm, I'm going to actually just take and keep this very simple with like Rook C8. Put pressure towards the king. Should be winning pretty easily. Let's make a check. You know Math is here for for. Thank you so much. To, or not Math is here. Thank you to Matt is here for the five gifts. Sorry you guys, I can't read this morning. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's keep going. Take. Let's go. I don't know. Everything wins. Let's let's go check. Maybe maybe he'll block with the queen. That would be really nice. I'm trying to meme here. I want him to block with the queen. I wanted to get a beautiful checkmate, but he says no. Um, so I'm just gonna have to win the game instead. Very unfortunate. They had a Balikan for the three, and then you trade Dimitri for the tier one. Why does the picture of Duda look like a completely different person? Um, probably because Duda, uh, this is a older picture, and this Duda did used to wear glasses. I don't think he's been wearing glasses lately. Let's take this box reminds me of Tekken characters. That's the whole point of it. Uh, let's go here, maybe Bishop C3, maybe Queen B6, Queen A5, and keep it going. You get a Pataricky again for the 300 bits. Appreciate it. Let's go check and collect the Rook here. I'm going to go Rook C8. Maybe try to go for Checkmate. Death Metal or Black Metal? Not necessarily. Doing Candidates prep against 400 players. Well, you guys, uh, I've tried to modernize chess, bring it to the masses um, as best I can. So, um, you know, we, we respect 400 players, respect everybody. I mean, there's no reason that a 400 player can't be as good as Ding Lorenz. So, of course, I mean, it's very serious. Let's go check and play Rook C1, mate. How does playing a sub 1000 player uh, make any sense for you? Because you get, that's what the purpose of a speed run, you gain rating points. So what is an opening that I'm not gonna play? Um, let's play the Van Geet opening with Knight C3. Um, of course, you know, the problem with playing Van Geet is now I can blunder and play E4 and go into the Vienna. And obviously I prepared, uh, let's not go there. So let's play, let's keep it true to the Van Geet and play D4 here. I'm gonna take with the queen. Uh, maybe I'll go queen d1 next move. Maybe knight f3. Let's play queen d3. Um, keep rolling. Let's go bishop f4 here. <laughs> Let's play e3 next move and keep it rolling. Whoa, thank you to Anonymous for 10 gifted subs. Appreciate it. As I said before, you guys, if I gift, um, if I make, if I make, if I do blunder and I accidentally play one of these openings in the canvas turn, I will be gifting 500 subs to the, uh, the community. Isn't telling what you what you aren't playing also give info away? Um, well, I'm trusting these openings are are bad enough that my opponents aren't going to be taking it seriously. But of course, Fabiano, Fabiano, and probably some of the other players uh, they'll they'll probably spend about 30 hours watching a speed run on YouTube with their seconds, uh, which will rot their brain and they'll be all confused and they won't know know what I'm going to do. Okay, he goes knight before. I'm going to play queen c4 to attack the knight here. Uh, I can play knight g5 next move and keep rolling. We get a Pataricky for the gift of sub. Thanks so much. Now he goes C5. I'm going to take the pawn on D6. So we should win this pretty soon. 
Uh, I have to say, Carl, you're a legend. The pace at which you read chat and respond while playing chess is unprecedented. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I think it's CR Mart for the Prime as well. Thanks so much, CR Mart. Appreciate it. Okay, so he castles. I mean, I can obviously just take the pawn. I'm up a lot of material, so I want to finish this game as fast as possible. Fabiano is creating a random Hikaru BS file in chess space right now. Exactly. Let's take the knight. Do I think Alirez is following the Fabiano method for working the can candidates? Radio silence didn't work. That's what he's doing. Um, whether it works, we'll see. Um, okay, let's go C6 again. Go knight A6. I will I will mix it up. Okay, so he, we do get the proper one. So E4, C6, D4, knight A6, knight A6. Now, the thing is, if bishop A6, I had queen A5 check to collect the bishop. So D4 is just a better move. Or knight A3 is just a better move. Number of wins can't be seen. Oh, whoops. Um... One second. Why can't it be seen? You're right. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it can't be seen. Um, but anyway, there we go. All right. Sorry. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. So let's go G6 here. All right. I'm going to go Bishop G7. Well, I pre more, prepare more for Fabiano than the rest of the players. No, not really. But the only thing I will say is in the candidates tournament, um, I do know that I'm playing Fabiano in the first round because, again, in order to avoid collusion between players from the same countries, uh, in the first round, you play if there are two players from the same country, they have to play each other. So that that's the one thing I will say is I already know my first round. I know my first round opponent, and it will be Fabiano. So let's go knight f6, attack the bishop on e4, maybe knight e6 to attack the bishop on g5. Okay, it takes, I'll take back. Now I have the bishop combo looking very, very pleasant for me. Seems like an advantage for you guys or not. Not really. It just means you know who you're playing in the first round. It makes sense. Well, the funny thing is they did this in the FIDE Grand Prix in Berlin. And um, I, when they did the technical meeting for the event, I'm going to play here so I can take B2. When they did the technical meeting, uh, Alexander Grishuk was actually saying that he, he, thought it was, he thought it was kind of insane that they did that because it's implying that players are going to cheat and they're going to like throw games or, you know, win trade and all that other, all that other jazz. Why don't they let you know all the um let you know all the pairings in advance? I do believe they at some point they do come out with the um with the list, but I'm not 100 percent sure when exactly it will be. It's been it's been a long time since I last played in the candidates, to be quite honest. So I don't remember. Let's go e6. I'll take with the knight here. Yeah, I mean, of course, the original reason is because of Russia. Obviously, in the old days, there, you know, Bobby Fischer had to deal with players basically sort of um throwing games to each other and not playing and all that other stuff so yeah okay let's go queen e7 here rook d8 how do i stop the ads uh if you're getting the ads it's probably because you just jumped to the stream and you know you know twitch you guys it's all about them ads i'm not even i i, I don't even have hit the ad button the moment you pop in you're gonna get hit with it so it's kind of unfortunate to put it mildly Okay, now let's go queen e5 here. Let's go rook d2. I can totally relate. I haven't played in the candidates in many years. Yeah. Stream gets fuzzy. Uh, that's probably on your end. This, uh, it's got to be on your end. Now I'm just going to take. Go check. There we go. Let's keep going. Next game. Do I think Chelsea will get an update? I'm honestly not sure. Why is Hans having a hard time in Iceland? You, I mean, you, like I said, I said before. Okay, now my opponent plays E3, plays the Van Cruyff's opening, uh, named after Van Cruyff from the Netherlands. Um, I'm gonna play like Tony Miles, the famous British player. I'm gonna play the um, the Saint George defense with A6 and B5 here, um, and you know, in honor of the great patron Saint George. It was queen d5 so he's trying to attack my rook here i'm gonna play fancy chess here with rook a7 and e6 van cruyff not van cruyff van cruyff was a famous footballer no um so i just say van cruyff 
I don't know, whatever. I'm not Dutch. I, I, we, you know, we speak American here, so uh, if it's wrong, it's wrong. But you know, every you know, it's 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 still right. Let's go d5, attack the queen. Yeah. So knight c6 here. All right, so anyway, my opponent's kind of lacking development so far. This is really not what we teach beginners to, to do um, at the start of the game. Let's go bishop d6 and castles. It's pretty early in the speed run, so I don't really have to be careful yet. As we get to probably like more like 14, 1500, 1600s, I'm going to have to start paying attention. And when I get to like the 2000, I'm going to be very, very careful what I play in the openings. Very, very careful. Um, because that's where I, if I blunder, I'm going to, I'm going to be out at uh, 2,500 bucks very, very quickly. So, okay. Now I guess I'll go here to hit the queen. Yeah. Yeah. If, if I, if I make a blunder, you guys, and I play any of these openings and candidates, I'm going to be gifting 500 subs whenever I return. So yeah, I have to be very careful right now. It's not that bad, but once I get to like 2000, I'd be careful to not just like fall asleep at the wheel for the first few moves and play something like E4, Knight F3 and Bishop B5 or something. You look tired, get enough sleep. I actually didn't sleep very well last night. Um, my back's kind of bothering me this morning, but it's all good. When, when you don't sleep enough, there's this great, great friend of yours that you can always just have. This great friend, uh, you just, you just put it, you put it in your, in your mug and then you put it some hot water in and it's, uh, everything is great. Let's go D4 here. Okay. So I'm gonna take on F3. I'm gonna take on D4 and put pressure on the diagonal. Let's take the pawn. Yeah. It's, it's called, um, instant coffee. That's what we're talking about. I didn't do Chessel or any of that yet. I was going to do that a little bit later on in the stream. I can obviously do it, um, before. Okay. Let's keep going. Okay. Um, I should invest in a, a pog mattress. Um, well, I mean, I, I'm going to be in Spain very early. I'll be in Spain in advance. Um, but yeah, maybe I could, we'll see. Okay. Play C3. What's an opening. I'm not going to play like, see already. I'm a little bit confused. What am I not going to play? Um, yeah, you know what? I, I'm not going to play the Dutch and the candidates. Okay. I'm not going to play the Dutch and the candidates. Right. I mean, right. Okay. Go D5 here. Okay. Uh, let's go E6. I guess I'll take and play C6. Like I said, I already have to be a little bit careful what I'm doing. Let's go uh, C6. Create a, um, I don't know what you call this. But we have something. Let's go Bishop G7 castles here. Who plays the Dutch at a high level? Well, you know, there's famous Grand Master who really doesn't get a lot of credit for his opening uh, theory and opening contributions. His name is Hikaru Nakamura. And around 2008, 2009, he actually revolutionized the Dutch. He started playing it against top players like Kramnik, Anand, and others. And he had he had quite a bit of success with it. Um, and then a lot of other players started taking it up after him. So, um, you know, the, there was that one guy who did play it. I mean, revolutionize is a little bit too, too, uh, too bold, but, but I, but I will say that once I started playing at the top level and showing that it wasn't just losing by force, there were a lot of players who did start taking it up. Magnus took it up. Fabiano actually was one of the earliest people to take it up after me. Fabiano was one of the earliest ones. Um, okay. So let's go G4 here. Can I have to the speed run command? My, my mods can do it, but yeah. Anyway, we keep rolling. All right, Bishop G5, I will just take the juicer here on F3. I can play Knight E5 next move, attack the Bishop. Also G6 is weak. I think the Dutch you played versus, oh yeah, I played it versus Levon as well. I played it against so many different players. I mean, there's so many of them. Tilted Tuesday starts, I believe in two, I believe it starts in like an hour and a half, if I'm not mistaken. But let's go check and play Queen G5 here. I, I think it was against, actually Ma Magnus did against Levon in the, um, St. Louis turned to Singfield Cup in 2014 in its first iteration. Let's go check. I guess I'll just take the pawn. It's a shame he's only playing openings. We, he won't play the cans because we're not going to see one B3 in the speed run. Yeah, I don't know if we'll see B3. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I mean, who knows? But again, it's kind of risky because I might want to play one B3 in the candidates, right? Uh, change the color type on the board. Uh... 
go check. I mean, I could change the font color, I guess. Yeah, maybe I'll change the font color. One second. Um, wait, one second. Actually, one second. Um, let me see. Um, where is it? One second. It's my move here. I, I don't want to lose on time. Let's go check. Second. I'll do, um, how do I add it? How do I change the color? One second. There we go. Select color. I will make it blue. How's that? Does that look better? No, blue looks terrible. One second. Um, what's a good color? Maybe like a bright yellow or something. Yellow is probably good, right? Yeah, yellow looks really good. Let's go to the sharp yellow. Yeah, I think yellow is a good color. Yeah, ye yellow looks like a great color, actually. All right, let's keep going. 